Okay, I wasn't sure I was going to work on this this weekend, actually. Um, a lot going on, family and whatnot. Now they're saying Sunday night, Monday, we could get like four to six inches of snow. So, got to get the starter on this thing and I got to get it going. So, I'll set you up on the stand and we'll see how it goes. But the idea is uh, it's right up against the cabinet. So, I could probably get the work the starter in there, but yeah, it's going to be cramped. So, I'm going to try and pull start it. You can see my pull rope there. Um, I used that one last time and it worked really well. This one's a little longer since I'm on the other side of the tractor. I need a little more uh, pull. So we'll see if it works. Uh, I may have to, I've got it wrapped around there a couple times. I may have to go three, but I'll try with two first and see how that goes. And so I'll set you up behind me and uh, we'll see if she runs. So let's give it a whirl and see what happens. Got a little extra here, but all right. Ah, son of a gun. Okay, uh, I decided to ditch this uh, rope just because um, just too long and too skinny. This one's a little easier to maneuver around everything. And I remember now that. Last time I got it started with this rope, it had been running earlier in the day. Uh, like I said, it's been sitting for a good month now, so we'll see. We'll see. Uh, turn this up just as gosh. I think the choke is on. Hope the choke is on. Nope. Let's see how that goes. Eh, yeah, it's just not going to fly. Okay. All right, yeah, I'm just going to, it's going to take a little too much to get this to crank over when it's this cold. Uh, it's not that cold in the shop, in my garage. It's like uh, just about 70 in here, but uh, it's getting late and I'm running out of time. I've already had two Nuglaris uh, Roadkill beers or Road Rash beers, so... Uh, even the coffee I'm drinking now isn't kind of helping much. So, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try and squeeze in behind there and see if I can get the starter in. Um, see if I can figure out, um, you know, if it's, it's a gapping, if it's a you know it's a, an adjustment issue or something else. So, all right, I'll bring you back when I got something. Okay, so. And looking at this, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. See the uh, teeth on that flywheel are actually in really good shape. Um, but what I did notice is, if it'll focus. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, it's just not gonna focus. Okay. Anyway, so what I noticed was, um, pull that back. Um, it's almost like it's too close. So, um, putting shims behind it, um, as many people suggested, seems to be the way they go. I don't have anything I can make shims out of. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to try and find a couple of flat washers that are snug to the bolt. Um, because if you look at how this goes on here, oh, let's see if I can... So, there's a, uh, a hole here and a hole here. It's not like flush across here where I could put a, just a, like a sheet of metal. So, I'm really kind of stuck with washers or um, two individual pieces of metal. I suppose I could do one metal across, but then the, uh, the uh, radius of the starter would push against the center. So, now I think I'm better off just a couple of washers under here. I think that might just be enough. Well, we'll see anyway. Okay, so <clears throat> I managed to get the starter in there. Um, I put in some extra thick washers behind the starter to kind of push it out away from the flywheel a little bit, about an eighth inch, something like that. They were kind of thick. So hopefully that'll do it. Um, I got everything hooked up, so let's see how it goes.
<laughs> no, it doesn't catch at all. Okay. Apparently that was too thick. I'll remove them, see if I can get something a little... I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to think about this. So, I had these washers in there. And, uh, as you saw, all it did was spin. So, it occurred to me that, uh, hang on, if I can get over here, uh, that I could take the cover off and see what was going on. I thought that this shroud was riveted, but turns out they're just quarter-inch uh, nuts on there. Um, so anyway, I, I put the starter on there and gave it a try without anything, just like the other one was, and it did seem to bind as the starter gear was backing away. It would sometimes just bind and stop there. So I found some spot, uh, some washers about half as thick as the ones I just showed you and put those on there. Uh, I tried it once and it seemed to work better. So let's, uh, if I can do this, see how it's, if it starts and how it handles it. <clears throat> Yeah. I think that's that'll do it. Well, the brake came off. There we go. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Um, just needed a just a tiny bit more away from the flywheel, and it's now not um, hanging up on the uh, when it recoils. And it was actually um, doing that several times without anything behind there. So I'm gonna call that good. Okay, so I was gonna upload this uh, last week, but uh, we got snow, and I thought, well. I'll, uh, I'll show you how well the Dil Gilson did uh, during the snow. Well, we did get about 10 inches. It was uh, just around 10 inches um, on the deck and on the uh, driveway. And you can see I got it uh, piled up. Now this is several, oh, what, six days later, five days later. And um, most of it's melted now. Didn't stick around too long. Uh, but unfortunately, I didn't get to use this. Because I came out here Monday afternoon when there's about six inches of snow out there. I thought I'm gonna get ahead of the game a little bit, come out and I lunch because I worked from home, started, went to start it, and the starter stripped out again. And it and I thought, well, crap. I don't know if you can see that. So and it, the the motor didn't even turn. So I went in there with my fingers and did one of these and it turned fine. So I'm like, crap. So I grabbed the rope, wrapped it around the, the uh, flywheel, gave it a pull, started right up. <clears throat> so I went and got my hat and gloves on, but by the time I could, got back to the tractor, it had died because I left the choke on. And it was flooded, and I, I wasn't going to wait. So um, what I ultimately did was broke out the little Gilson and plowed it. It did a great job, and I had it took me over an hour because... You know, that was a lot of wet, heavy snow, and um, the blade can only be forward. If if I tilt it one way or the other, it hits the tires. So, uh, you know, so anyway, long story short is I have to find the right starter. I was looking at that real close, and what I've decided is the teeth on the starter gear are wi farther apart than the teeth on the um, flywheel. That is the correct starter number based on the um, PDF of the breakout of this motor with all the part numbers. The problem is, I don't know if the flywheel was changed at some point or if they've changed the starter gear. Maybe the place I've been buying them from doesn't have the right part number with the right starter. I'm not sure. I have to do a lot more work. The starter that was on this when I got it was perfectly fine. And frankly, if it hadn't died... Um, uh, I'd still be good. Uh, I, I wish I had kept it because the gear on it was a little worn, but fine. 
Um, but the, the windings were bad, so I mean, I couldn't get it to work at all. So uh, I threw it out when I should have kept the gear on it. I don't know what I was thinking, but dang it. So um, my guess is since this is mid-March, I probably won't see any more snow or at least not enough to run the Gilson, the big Gilson here anyway. So uh, I'm just going to take my time and find the right starter for it. Dang it. Oh. Uh, one last thing. Um, I want to thank everybody who watched that video. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the number of uh, views on that video that they did for work, uh, just it's like 200 now or something close to that. And uh, I appreciate all the comments. And uh, somebody saw that there were comments building, so um somebody in the office took a screenshot of uh, a still of the video put it on the whiteboard in the middle of the office and every time a comment came up they would print the comment off cut it and then paste it below the picture and by the time i left there was just all these comments and there was texas viking and uh one, one wild camaro and and uh um all the rest of them uh, they're tickled pink they couldn't be happier so i just want to thank you guys um by the way Nobody knows um, I did the shout-out. They don't even know I have a YouTube channel. I've never really mentioned it. Um, if they ask, I would, you know. But, yeah, you know. Um, so, anyway, thank you all.